All right, I wanted to make a video here of a, um, a problem that I think I've solved for my, my box joints. Um, a lot of times on my box joints, my pins are um, proud, which is okay. Let me put this together here. Get the camera angle correct. What you'll notice, these aren't too bad. I had them a lot worse until I fixed it, but these pins are a little, um, a little proud. Um, and what I needed to do was figure out a way to consistently trim my, um, the pins down to a certain length. And uh, I think I figured it out, and uh, I made a little gauge, and I wanted to make a video on it, and uh, mostly so I don't forget it if I ever need to go back to it. But uh, I'll show you what I do. Um, so I made this, um, just a chunk of oak I took, and, uh, and I machined a, a, a groove in it, and that groove is taller than um, my material. So when I put my gauge down on the table saw, my material is, uh, can go underneath the gauge. Okay, let me back out this camera a little bit more. All right, so my material can go underneath the, the gauge, and I set it against my fence, and, uh, and then I bring it just a little um, proud of the teeth here, and the distance between this edge and the teeth here will be how much the pins stick out, and uh, so I want them just to stick out just a little bit, so I, I bring it this way, I set it on there like that, and then I bring out my... My first board, put it on my miter gauge, okay, and I stick this board in there, just like so, I'm trying to do this without blocking the camera, and then I bump this board up against that, this board here, and uh, I can remove that. Actually, I don't need this anymore. And when I go to trim it, it will trim my pins right where I want them. And uh, that helps a lot for me. But, uh, I don't know. I thought about doing this. It took me a while to figure this out. But again, um, so this has got to be taller than your material. That groove in there. Bring it proud of your teeth. The uh, distance that you want the pins to stick out. Put it on your miter gauge. Put your material in there. Bump it right up onto the gauge. Okay. Lock it in there. You press it pretty good if you want. And then uh, remove that. Obviously, we don't need this right now. We're done with that. However, you can even make this uh, fixed to this so it doesn't get in the way. Doesn't get caught in there, and then just uh, cut your pins. And like I said, mine are a little proud right now, but after the glue up, I'll sand them down, and uh, and I'll get them flush. But for the time being, before glue up, I wanted them to uh, be a little, a uh, little closer than what I had. Hope you liked the video. I'll talk to you later.